game was over so fast. Monkey King. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I played Monkey King. That was pretty good. Uh, Venge ban for a Venge core on Envy to create early tempo. That would have been pretty good. Very good against Lundruid, I would say. Swap them out of position, get a kill. Mm -hmm. I like it. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's a that's a core Venge ban. Yeah. yeah I like that. And Fnatic is looking to ban their the offlane for secret. Oh, well, that's not so. No, yeah, they're banning the, the so it's mid. The mid. Yeah. They're banning mid one's hero, so we can see either the the Ember still banned, or maybe the uh, Ember is already banned. My bad. Yeah. Uh, but maybe the Wind Ranger still banned. Then I, I like the Conquer idea, but against the Tusk, I'm not sold. I guess because you can snowball yeah, cover whoever gets X. Yeah. So. And it, if you can disrupt that that Conquer combo as a core, especially the hero just feels gimped. Mm -hmm. No, I, I am not. Play. I am not at all convinced by Core Kaka. I'll, I'll go on record saying that. Look, Secret has in the in the previous tournament that they played at. It wasn't really good because you were waiting for that one wombo combo that can turn everything yeah. around. But you know, it's based on luck. It's not how well you do. I I think if you Secret, you look at this and and go just just pick like a DP. Just pick something that pushes towers and and can win the lane against PL. Something simple, fail safe. Yep. It must be getting DK, I'm guessing, with the timber ban. Um, yeah, I, 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 I thought they were going to fourth pick DP, uh, DK, but... Uh, Semi-similar, it's like tanky. I thought tanky they were going to go Razor here uh, against the Lone Druid, but Razor's really, really not looked great recently in pro games. I don't think they really need it that much. I guess like Elder Titan Sand King, I don't think I'd want to play Razor too much. It's like too many disables and like ampers. Whereas Viper is like uh, is a is a tankier version of kind of what Razor does sort of. Um and I would say it works pretty well against the secret heroes. Like he just he just needs to get like individually high HP with a mix of like armor and stat stuff and he'll be just fine. Ooh. Maybe not against the Tinker though. Yeah. You don't sound convinced, Nahas. Not what I was expecting, but I think it's I think it's good. Um, I think Fnatic have drafted a lineup with that Viper as a last pick. Fnatic have drafted a lineup that needs to do something that they've struggled with, and that's push towers early and apply pressure to the opposite side of the map constantly. Okay. Uh, Tinker is just a, a hero that can control the lane equilibrium all over the map, can shut down that aggression, and Seeker can play the tempo of the game however they like. So I, I like Seeker quite a bit here. All right. What does Fnatic need to do? One focus. Uh, point. just gank the Tinker in lane. They've got a they've got a Tusk. It's definitely possible, especially with like a PL or a Viper, whichever one's mid. Just kill Tinker a bunch, slow him down, and then uh, I don't do slow Fnatic mid things. one down. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, seems like a simple recipe <laughs> for success. Let's find out if Fnatic can actually do that, and if we are gonna have another close game with OD Pixel and Fog. Thank you, GVS. It's for Fnatic versus Secret, a very Treat. exciting match between these two. And we've already seen that Fnatic's very much, they're ready to give us some Fnatic-style games today. Sure. So let's see if they can do it against Secret. I uh, understand because the battle said this one will certainly be a little harder for them, considering that we've seen Secret play uh, today. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the two drafts, what are we thinking? Mid one getting this Tinker for at the end, and as you're saying, there's a, there's a lot of strong hero combinations that this Tinker has, has got besides him. Yeah, they've got the vision from ET, the work to work well with both Tinker as well as the Disruptor, so you can get yeah. those like, glimpses constantly. Uh, they've got the Amplification, of course, and then they've got the Tinker plus Lone Druid, so he can always join the fray, because he's going to go either Dominator, he's going to go Dominator probably, maybe, or if not, he has the Bear. So you're always going to be able to join the fray, be able to join into those team fights, and they don't really have great ways to find him, is my biggest concern for Fnatic, I guess. Like Once they get like Tusk, Blink, and stuff, they'll be able to look for that Tinker, but in the midst of the fights, it might be difficult for him to actually catch him. And looking at the PL, uh, you know, P I actually think PL is pretty hard to play this game uh, okay. versus Disruptor, Elder Titan, and Sanking. They actually have ways to clear the illusions really easily, and they have ways to actually find the real PL because he's not really going to have illusions in a lot of this game. ET is naturally going to be pretty good versus ET, not because you're not going to really be standing next to him per se, but you're the magic amplification. So I think that could that could struggle. But for Fnatic, they do have a long, they have a strong way to be able to like group up. With like the uh, the uh, the Viper in particular, if he's able to get really tanky, he can just kind of like stand in the front lines versus Secret. And of course, we've got for as well Secret the the Ace Lone Druid, and we saw earlier today uh, how if that Lone Druid gets free space, it can be a a very smooth game for Secret to run over Fnatic with. But we'll see what Fnatic can get done. Right, MV Viper. Of course, coming into play this time, one of those yeah. heroes that can seem underwhelming a lot of the times. We'll see if Envy's able to make something magic happen with it this, this game. Yeah. 
I'm, I was, I'm trying to wonder why they picked... I guess maybe just because they wanted... Uh, like versus the bear, it's always going to be pretty good, right? Versus Lone Druid, the Viper, and they have Viper and Doom. So Infernal Blade versus the bear is going to always hurt. And then the Viper Viper damage, poison attack scales based off health missing. So, And they wanted a Frontliner, I guess, would be the biggest thing too with that Doom. So, I guess when you don't really have... I guess it makes sense when you have the Viper, when you don't have this like Blink Initiator to start the fight. Sure, they have Tusk, but he's going to take time, right? So Doom is more of a hero that he, especially from what I've been seeing recently, is he kind of just walks into the fights. He goes like Phase Drum, and then he gets the Blink. So they want to have that other hero to be able to just be that Frontliner and start it for him. So I think that's the idea behind it. Pi, getting stunned up, but they don't have the follow-up. Oh, just that initial burst to scare Pi and I die back a little bit. Yeah. And make sure that they can try and keep control at the Crete Wave secret and get those denies against Envy. I'm playing very aggressive here. Puppy's dragging the wave too, so they can look for these dives. Yeah, yeah absolutely. He's straight in. Chasing down Pi with the punches. Pi trying to keep his distance. He's only got the level one zap, so no way to sort of hold Yapso got back, him. and that will be first blood. Envy. Also. He's also in trouble. Fada, Yapso given the rundown with the burst strikes and the punches from the stapler man. Yapso gets a double kill. This, this that was so smart. Crushed. That was so smart by Puppy. That, that play there, pulling the creep wave, letting them get the second creep wave down and be able to tank the aggro. You can see them like manipulating the aggro from the tower there constantly. That was such a good play by him there, dragging it all the way back. On off to the greatest of starts in that safe lane, Fnatic. Yeah. Gotta hope that they can get sort of the lane advantage elsewhere, but top lane. They're moving both supports, Puppy as well as Yapso come up looking to punish DJ. He's got Snowball. He's trying to get away though. Actually, shards next to Yapsar. He should be getting brought down here. Looks for the deny, but he can't. A quick rotation from Puppy and Yapsar to make the, an uh, impact on another lane. The one minute and 55 second soul ring for Yapsar. Not bad time. With boots already? Yeah, he's, he's feeling it. He's happy. He's uh, a happy man. And their bounty run as well as yeah. he heads over to grab that. And this. I said it in the last game too. It's like whenever I see uh, Secret when they're playing with the Lone Druid. It gives it, it alleviates the, their supports to just to do whatever the hell they want in the game, right? So they they've been doing this a bunch. They go like this position their aggro tri lane, and then they leave. And Fado now has a pretty good start level three. He can find his own, and then they go back oh, to the I'm safe top. lane. They're looking for University. It's pretty beefy. The snowball comes out and attempts to save him, but he's actually getting body blocked up a little bit more. In fact, in Universe, is the score surf enough to keep him alive? It. It is. Will just be falling down to about 11 HP there, Universe. Ooh. But he will just survive. Here's the mid lane matchup going. Mid one. Pretty. 11 for 5, 11 for 2. The denies, denies start to add up. Is it expected for for one of these two heroes to have a, a an advantage in this, in this sort of 1v1, would you say? I tinker. Definitely. Tinker just. Yeah. Yeah. Your base damage is high, you're gonna have laser, you, like, if he can't really, you don't want to doppel to remove laser, like, you don't want to have that skill in no. this, so, you're gonna be able to miss last hits, and, yeah, Tinker's one of those stronger lanes. Envy's still getting punished decently bottom, he started to catch, he was only a 5-1, but he got 8-3 now, but Fada's gotten so much space now because of them starting that aggro, getting those big early kills. Top. DJ and Universe, they've been doing this actually constantly. I was going to point this out, I actually forgot for a second. So, um, there was no stout shield, there's no stout shield on the bear. So, uh, we actually, I actually saw DJ non-stop punching the bear in the laning phase. They killed it pretty much in the first minute. You see the constant resummons were coming up, but now at this point they can't really kill it fast enough. And yeah, Secret, already with the 2k advantage, pretty, feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah, there's only three kills. Certainly having the impact. Universe, ooh, not quite able to find the bear. Tries to run it down with the Scorch Surf. Uh, Ace with the Savage Roar will keep yeah. the bear safe. They know that they can't, like, close the gap onto the Lone Druid to really come because you can just Savage Roar if they do, so they, they're really threatening the kills on that bear with the Infernal Blade as well as this, this Tusk. On top towards the jungle. Yep, sorry. And he's gonna walk sort of into this one as the two of them will begin to beat down upon him. Yep, so in a lot of trouble. Snowball for Fnatic. Will get themselves a kill. As Yapso does sort of end up walking into the two of them. Yeah. They didn't know that they were coming up and they had vision of him standing there. They had much more information coming into that play. There's a pretty pretty decent sized stack up there too. Puppy actually 
Getting the glimpse back onto DJ. Mid one has one level of rocket skilled up. He could level up a few more and go for this if he really wants to, but he wants to hang on to his skill points. Just because he wants to he wants to be able to get, get March of Madden, March of the Machine so that he can actually farm. Really doesn't want to go for those extra points and he's seeking miss skill, even though he probably could have gotten the kill. Oh, so he has continued to be very even in this lane. So sort of considering, yeah. as you say, the fact you ex expect to Tinker to have an advantage, this is just Arbeb playing the lane very well on his PR. Yeah, he still has he still has a, the more denies, so that you see him a little sure. bit ahead in that experience. Got it. But yeah. Yeah, Arbeb's been playing it really well. Yapsor's just yeah, yapsor has been constantly stacking top. I mean, we haven't seen other Titan a crazy amount lately, but that's what you do as this hero. You stack and you abuse your astral spirit combo with it constantly. Get that bonus damage. Let's see what they can get with the smoke. Universe Pi, DJ. Oh, oh yeah, so once again, walked into a bit of a nightmare as Fnatic will get Yap with the smoke. Not necessarily the core that they were looking for in, in, in terms of a big kill, but it's still sort of shaking up the, the supports of Secret and making it harder for Secret themselves mm -hmm. to make these plays. I really thought you'd say he walks into his own doom. He used a nightmare when it's... I don't know. I, I thought you'd have something oh, there. True, yeah. I thought you'd have it there. Oh, we didn't have... You know... Usually you're, usually you're the really quick one with that but stuff. But he doesn't so. have doom. Well, I guess so he doesn't. But he oh, is, he a, is doom. a doom. He oh, is a doom. he is a doom. Okay. <laughs> I forgot, yeah. <laughs> one of those, you know. Bit of a, a cop-out hero and a spell naming, really, from, from Valve on that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Or whoever came up with it. Doom having doom. Come on. <laughs> That's just lazy. He used to be Lucifer, right? No, oh, really? He wasn't. Well, he was Lucifer. His name was one. Yeah, stuff, okay. Yeah, the name, at least. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, look towards the bear. Can they bring this bear down? Oh, Savage Roar again for Mace. Keeps the bear safe. Every single time, he's always able to keep it alive. And he's going to do the same build. He's actually got. He's straight away from the Dominator. Uh, he did the same thing last time Mask of Madness, and then he went Radiance. Probably sim similar to this game because he's versus a PL again. Fada. Doing still very well. Level 5, 1,200 gold, mm. those triple mangoes. He's loving life from that start that they gave, that the supports gave him on the side of Secret. But Envy also has completely recovered because the supports were moving so much on the side of Secret he's able to farm. But now they bring everyone bottom. And we'll see if they try to go for some kill onto Envy here. Maybe they wait for Epi for Fada, but we'll see. And what's Envy going to do with the farm? Is he just going to sort of build into the auras for the team, do you think? On this, uh, on the Viper, or on any sort of variance that we could expect. I was thinking him. he's gonna do Hood, right? Yeah, Especially in this game. So Secret, actually, so, Secret had a triple camp stacked right there, and they cleared the whole thing just now from, uh, from Envy and Fnatic. But yeah, I'd imagine it's just gonna. I, I think like Hood pipe. Hood looks really good this game for his team, or the pipe in particular, versus the, uh, versus Tinker. We'll see though. On mid lane. And the focus will be once again as Pike coming forward. They're looking towards mid one. Mid one coming very far out there, and he gets bursted down. Straight away, Fnatic collapse upon him. We'll see if Secret can punish anything in return. They'll look towards Pi. You get the burrow strike in as well onto DJ in the middle. DJ gets it up. Is that going to save him? No, he's dead. It, lo it looks sweet, though. Yeah. The, the sharp push up to the high ground, and he's not enough of Pi. Yeah, I think he's like the best player at doing it. Personally, yeah, I, I, I feel like we've seen him do it the most, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. By the way, he can. It's actually um, himself with the shards. I, so I started practicing it recently. Yeah. It's actually um, it's like you. I just have to have the arrow facing the right way. I've realized, if you have the arrow facing like toward you on the cliff, it's wrong. You actually have to have to like facing away from you. You understand if you actually do it. If, okay. like, people have tried it. It's like it's really particular, but it's actually not the most difficult thing. But I mean, DJ is absolutely some practice. amazing. You've got, to, you've got to know how to do it. Yeah, exactly. And. And it's especially you know, knowing how to do it and then doing it in sort of the, the heat of the game. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. A very different thing. So mid one's got this triangle to work with right now. One camp stacked up, so his boots of trouble will come out in a pretty short notice. And this gives Puppy the mid lane now to sap that experience and get that level six, which they want. And Ace during all this has been... I mean, he level eight already. And bottom, they've got the Epi. They've got the stun follow-up. Envy. It's enough. It is enough. Fada. Fada will be okay, though. Barely. And very close. Actually having to pop his wand there to survive. But Puppy will go down. He's trying to get that experience. Mid one. They're hunting him. They have the Hex. DJ leading in as well. Mid one, is there going to be any backup to help him out? That's the question. Only Yapsil. But he can't do enough to save him. Does get the stomp onto two. We'll see if they can put that into anything else. Puppy. TP's across. Looking towards Arbed. Arbed. And he's got the doppelganger. He's actually looking to try and chase down Puppy, but Arbet himself very long. Oh, he's going for the he's illusion play, and he's going to work. They're going to ignore him entirely. 
Abed walking it off. And DJ pushed himself up on the high ground with oh the shards as well goodness. during it. So they both fed out. Them coming out with the cute little plays, DJ and Abed. That was sick. Very, very sweet. Yep, so when he uh yep, so when he came, he actually didn't have the soul ring up to protect mid one initially, so he didn't have the stomp to get it. So it was like mid one died, it was like split second kind of things again there. So able to kill mid one when he's very close to those boots who travel, pretty crucial kill. And Fada Fada went for treads, so he it looked like he was considering the blink rush, but he likes to he likes this build. He pretty much always go for his, goes for like the stats on these uh initiating off laners. Oh, he's what, about halfway towards the blink dagger on top of that as well anyway. Yep. As you said, he had, he had quite a good lane. Got a lot out of it. Got his, just as much as Envy uh, in that safe lane. Now, as we can see on the net worth. Looks like it's just going to be a stat build coming out from Abed. We, I mean, this has been more of the trend lately, but... We've seen a couple of defusals as well, first item. But sometimes we do see this S and Y coming out. Just so we can tank up, I think, in particular this game. He's versus, like, a lot of control and a lot of heroes that... In theory, just on like paper, are good versus the PL, right? The Sanking, the Disruptor, the Elder Titan. So he just wants to have higher HP. On top they go, base. Hidden behind the trees. Should be fine. Almost prepared for this as Puppy is also coming with backup. DJ, the only one to be showing at the moment in the late. I love this Tusk set so much, actually. Look at that. That's the new Immortal, isn't it? And that's so awesome. What does it do? What spell does it affect? Must affect one of the spells. I'm sure we'll see. Maybe it's the sigil or the punch. Not sure. We'll find out shortly. It's quite. It's quite a big shine it's that quite, that light it's has. It's quite shiny here. Yeah. I was like, I thought it was. I thought haste. it was coming up as something else. But is that a haste rune? It's pretty sweet. Let's see. It doesn't look like it affects everything. It's just ambient effects. So I don't think any spell gets affected. This is like the. Oh, this okay. is the one that got added it's when you could. Um. This is the one from the points from Dota Plus, right? But why oh, this is not this is not a new mode. This is one that. But you why is it all shiny and red though? I've never seen it so red. You should know. You should. Sure, this is. Oh, I don't think he had a new mode. No, you're not, right. You're, this that's all this that's is one of the really expensive Dota Plus point sets. Yeah. Oh, up top. Doom gets glimpsed. He does, and he's out. Can they find anything else? There's a snowball in for DJ. Granby is also turned. March up. though, and the stomp connects. It's doing a lot of damage here, as that's going to be a second one down. They look to try and dive underneath the tower. Here, potentially secret as they go straight and away towards Pi Pi. Does get the wolf drop down, but he'll lose his life for Envy. Does manage to, to force the bear out. Yeah, they kill the they kill the spirit bear. But they don't get any hero kills. <laughs> but they uh, yeah, they get three of them. And that is the wards wasted essentially for Fnatic. As they are now gone. But still secret maintaining a 3k gold lead at this stage of the game. Ace still in a prime position on the Lone Druid, despite Fnatic's best attempt to try and slow him down towards the river. DJ is being chased here. The boots are the trap on the bear. Tanker. This is the combo that will allow for the quick and easy attempts of the kills. I say that though, DJ's trying to push himself away with the shards, but he's not he's getting out of that. Ace can chase with the bear. Let's see what more they can find. Drums now done on Envy. Indeed building up those auras as we assumed. We'll see what more they can get. As he will be going drums into Maelstrom on the Viper. So making sure that he can offer a bit of the right click. So a bit of a, a bit of a change, you know. Maelstrom as early as, as this is a bit different here for the Viper. But so we can sort of fall into sort of that carry potential and Offer a little bit to the fights at the stage where maybe Arba will be less keen to, yeah. to join. I think he just wants to be able to scale, right? Be able to wave clear and scale. I see. Father timing on the blink dagger. 2k gold. Nearly has it. We saw how much uh, was able to happen. Uh, well, in the, in the last game, in fact, when Fnatic themselves had the SK and Universe got the, the Blink Dagger and was really able to sort of turn things around in favor of them. Let's see if the same can be said for Secret. As he will just about have that down towards the mid lane, though, again. That They're finding the bear. bear a lot. Gone again. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Pi. It's gone for a moment. Able to find it, and here we go into the mid. Wards are down. They want to try and find some objectives. TPs are coming in. Secret wants to hold this. Or at least try and make them pay for it. No, they fine fly. They, uh, pie. Pie, puppy even throws down the static storming. That was some hate right there. They get the tower deny though. 
when another bear gets killed. They're very, uh, very adamant on killing Ace's bear. Yeah, same build from last game, as expected. He's versus PL, so yeah, Masking Madness into that Radiance. And Abed, yeah, that's in Y, as we were still talking about before. That was a... So Yap has gone what? Jay-Z's gonna do the Medallion Solo Crest build, it looks like. Gives him that Roche. Helps a lot versus PL always. Solo Crest is like the, the best support item in the game, pretty much, you can get versus that hero. In the early stages. And Fada already has that blink, so... They've got these clear ways to start the fight, while on Fnatic, it's a little bit more awkward. They kind of have to just, like, walk in to start these fights. So you're in a pretty good spot right now for themselves. You want to get on the aggressive. Pie. The pie. He's found mid bomb. Got him. He's got envy as well. And with that, there'll be more than enough damage to take down the Tinker. A nice move there. By Pi. What did, uh, so Envy, he, he literally is not, so he just went Treads Drum, he didn't go for the pipe this time around. Interesting. Ah, and he's got the, as I said, he's got the, going for the Maelstrom next. Yeah. So he can... He can scale, of course. Yeah, like you were mentioning, he wants Bob to up. scale, but... Interesting. I, I actually thought he was... To be able to, like, protect the PL and protect the illusions and stuff versus all this magic damage, but... Bada. Bada. preparing. He is gonna try for the play the double. He does, and he's got just enough damage to bring down Pi. That was sick. Gets himself a freebie solo kill. There was no hesitation in that one too. Like he started the channel before, like they disappeared for a second off of the map, but he's like, they're gonna push up here. You know, he just instantly starts the channel and gets ready for it. I mean, poor old Pi, you know, he goes one lane, gets Static Storm, goes to another, gets Effie. Yeah. They really don't want him to throw those Serpent Wards on towers. Envy, with the efficiency. Mango out, Mango in. And now he queues up the hood. So I, I, I think he's still gonna go for it. Oh, is he not getting the mouse? Yeah, he, he switched. Oh. I, I, I actually think like this is. Like he, they want Abed to have like the best game possible. I can understand why he'd want the Maelstrom to scale, but it's just such a good hood game. I reckon he wanted the mouse. Well, actually, he's saying that though, Envy is all the way he's the one who buys the hood. I wonder if it was teammates telling. We'll see. Maybe he's he's even queued up like the hurricane pipe. I mean, so full way, change, full change in build. This game's gonna continue to get rougher and rougher for for Fnatic as well. the relic timing is now done on Ace. He's he's had this start of the game, and as I said, we saw earlier today what happened when Secret Ace gets a, a pretty free start in this game. It feels like he has as uh, he's three zero three has not been taken down, even though that they did put multiple attempts at trying to gank that top lane. It never worked out. Yeah, I mean they had the full dual lane up there the entire time, so it's. Pretty huge that he's able to get that at this timing. Be a very good Radiance timing. Because he's also, he's gone for like, phase boots on the bear, Mask of Madness on the bear as well. Like sometimes you just see there's no boots on the bear, right? So he's gone for boots on himself, phase boots. So he's actually got a lot of gold, even though like, we sometimes see Radiance at like 16 minutes. He has a lot of small items. Oh, DJ? He's got Puppy here. Could probably just take him down with the combo, but Ace is around. He is gonna try for it. In fact, yeah, not able to do it in And with the Static Storm on the root, Puppy, he just he turns TPs. and CPs out in front of him as DJ dies. Ace though gets doomed. They're even looking for the Spirit Bear. They do get it. Universe is going to be able to chase down Ace and this should be able to get them a kill. Can they get the deny? Yeah, Absurd's looking to get a chain. A return kill here with the Tinker. And oh, Fata. what a beautiful. Indeed, with Fada jumping in like that with the, the Burrow Strike, they're going to have a good attempt to take it down a few of them. Yeah, I'm still ticking down low, won't quite fall. So, Secret do finally lose Ace. Yeah, Fnatic finally able to get that kill that they were desperately after to, but it cost them three lives in the long run there, down at the bottom. That was sick. That was beautiful by Puppy, too. He just, like, static storms, he just pieces. He just TPs right in front of DJ. They're still maintaining that 4K leader course off the back of that. Yeah. Once again, favorable trade for Secret. And, I mean, Fada's, Fada's getting... So much out of all this too, because his epi's have all been successful. Look at this. Yeah. Vanguard, he's gonna have gone closer toward that Crimson Guard. So Crimson Guard versus PL, you're you don't really do any damage once the once the block activate gets put on everybody else. Your illusions become pretty useless during that duration. And yeah, like we said, Fada loves the stats. He's all about those stat builds. Gets to 200 health, doesn't care about the 30 movement speed either. He's just all about being this super tanky sinking that can be that frontliner for his team this game. Since they have Tinker. And Universe does have the Shadow Blade finished. But Doom is on cooldown for another 60 seconds. And it looks like they even know that the Shadow Blade is there from Secret or from Puppy putting down some sentry wards in, prepar in preparation. Oh, they will uh, de ward that sentry. And it was pinged out uh, by. In fact, 
universe himself when that was popped down. Pai gets a trade, takes the top tower, but now if they get vision of envy. Straight back into the kinetic field, static Tommy's pretty tanky, but not tanky enough, or maybe with, with that's not with that gonna save him, it is. He is. The hood paying off there as just enough magic resistance to allow Envy to get out of there with the help of D DJ. Good thing he went the hood, not the Maelstrom. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Saved there his life. See there you see it. Envy gets out of that. How do we got for Ace? Very close to that Radiance. That's like the big timer for them to really just keep really force things down. I mean, they kind of are already on secret anyway, with our epicenter always being available for Fata. And tower gets brought down very quickly. All right, so Doom is available. Let's see if Universe is going to be able to find anything here. He walks directly into Puppy here now. But Fado's already there, channeling the Epi. And then he goes straight on top of Universe, holding Universe back and away from Puppy. Universe will try and run himself away, but the Vision's there for the Glimpse back. Secret catch out the Doom. Universe just stepping a little too far with that attempt of a kill onto Puppy. Secret so Probably just gets away every time, is it? Yeah, they seem very prepared for all these uh, rotations coming in. And during all this, two aces just walking from tower to tower, Klimt's two in the span of a very short period from bottom to mid. And now the Radiance is finished. What's up, Arbet? We'll be able to TP away there. Fada's having a, a remarkable game, though. I think Fada and uh, Puppy, for me, so far, are being have been absolutely remarkable for Secret. Being in the right place at the right time, every single situation. And DJ, even though he's gotten some decent snowball saves, he, he still he has been struggling in this game a bit. Zero and five for this Tusk. Yeah, he's just had a few defensive plays, but unable to, to really sort of kick things off himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Envy actually does commit for the full pipe. He had switched to Hurricane Pike, but he does go for the pipe. Okay, cool. I mean, we saw, we saw how much the hood did for himself, yeah. so having the pipe for his teammates uh, against, you know, the Static Storm Epicenter combo. It's exactly. like there's a tinker in the game. There's just so much magical. That's that's why I was like, it, this is such a clear-cut pipe game from when I was, when I was like, saying that. I, I really thought he he was going to go for his first, so. He does get that completed, and now Secret, they're looking for a fight. They have Epi in about 20... I feel like Epi's always up, man. Epi in about 20 seconds. Fada and Secret looking to make a move here. And of course, Arbed now in, in the perfect fighting place. SMY and Diffusal. He is good to go. We'll see if they can find the fight to utilize it. It's Puppy. But the Static Storm down isn't going to do anything. Is this time, Fnatic are able to run him down. They'll take down one. Uh -oh. Anything more here? Chase, Hunter, Fada, Fada able to get the blink out. Ace. Ace. He's on the front line, sort of getting focused here. Gets surrounded. The route will come out onto Arbed, but it does not matter. As they would find Ace, Fnatic. And they get. Look at this pie. He's, He's found mid one. He's going to get him. Mid one on the high ground. Blink. Oh, 90 HP. He's got the blink though. Oh, He's okay. Yeah. Oh my. Pi actually almost was able to mid one as mid well. One. There. Holy moly. But even so, I mean, getting ace and and seeing sort of the potential that Fnatic have in these fights now that Arbed does have both of these. You know, having the diffusal and the SMY. Yeah. There's this point where the PL is just such a nuisance to deal with. If you don't trap him in the static storm or, or sort of get him in that epicenter to, to start things off and give you the chance of bringing him down. He's just going to run target to target and beat you beat you to pieces. Yeah, and Abed's, Abed's having a really good... 4 0 two, he's level 17. Or he's about to be level 18. The next highest is 15. Mm -hmm. It's pretty remarkable how much he's been able to farm on this hero. He has been giving a lot of space, but... Keeping those timings up. Once he gets the BKB, then he has... He actually has some pretty free reign. To be able to focus fire whoever he wants. The one of the supports that is. I mean Yapsor does have a solo crush, so that can hurt a bit, but should be able to pierce his way into those back lines with that BKB when he gets it. And it just looked like Fnatic were they were prepared for that, that uh that smoke rotation with Envy. I see Fnatic. What's the play here? I mean both sides. Is, is there any sort of pressure on either side to, to smoke and find some action for themselves? I mean, most of the time it seems to be secrets sort of coming over towards Fnatic. We're, we're yet to really see Universe able to set anything up with the Doom. As, yeah. Uh, the last oh. you know, couple of attempts have ended up in him being Hi. turned around upon. Oh. Again, another oh. static storm for Pi. Pi to miss the stun, but it don't matter. I think this game is, I mean, both teams, the thing is they both kind of have lineups that can, they can scale pretty well. Yeah, to be quite well, yeah with the Lone Druid, PL on the other side. So, yeah, like Tinker, Lone sure. Druid versus Viper, PL, Doom. It's, 
Yeah, I, I guess you probably would favor secrets, though, right? I mean, Viper yeah. late game is ne surely you never want to go with the subject yeah, of Viper I mean, late game. More than likely, yeah, secrets is probably a bit more favorable because they also have like Lundra who can scale sword and Elder Titan. He's gonna negate everybody else, right? As yes. the game progresses, he gets stronger and he's able to actually play in the front of everybody. So yeah, I guess like secrets. But the also thing, the thing you have to think about is too is like, if universe is doomed, somebody then they're playing for you. So it's like, that's the beauty about Dota. It's like, especially in like these type of situations, envy. It's glimpsed away. So Fnatic could look to put some pressure, or Secret could look to put pressure on top tower, since they know Viper's now all the way down bottom. And Pachoon on top and with that Radiance helping Farm Ace has nearly got the money to, to start building towards his Mjolnir. Fnatic, they're heading up to this half of the map. They they are smoked up themselves. Could get a cool wrap around here. Now they have the blink on DJ too, so he can get those initiations or those save plays. And okay, this going for Roche. But there's an Elder Titan in it's the a game. Little, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the smoke put to an end. Top lane as well, Father. And there's about with the the third epicenter as well as three static storms. The pie's eating this game. How, yeah, every time they every just drop one an of the pie. He's actually yeah, poor pie, man. <laughs> He's receiving a lot of hate from Secret, this game. <laughs> Father and Puppy not a fan, apparently. Ultimate every time for that Shaman. I'm um, against the job done, guess the kill. It certainly sort of puts him off from being able to walk out and get those wards down. Exactly, exactly right? At the, at the pace of the game, yeah. like, Pi is the one who really wants to be shoving the Wayne's lanes in and getting, yeah. like, the position to actually put the wards down. And every single time, Fado's like, whatever. With the pace of the game, I can throw my Eppies. There's no, like, big team fights that are happening constantly. Inverse, not quite able to get close enough to move one there with his Shadow Blade. Mid one's got Agonims and getting close to that Shiva's, too. And he's getting pretty big on the Tinker. Top net worth, pretty level scary. with our bed. Ace just behind, and of course, Envy on the Viper, just unable to really keep up with the pace of these heroes in farm. Oh, yeah. Just dead down to the nature of the heroes. Exactly. Playing. Absolutely. Fnatic, they really want this BKB before they try to make anything happen, and they're about to have it, so. Let's see if they can find some type of engagement here. They're pretty limited on vision on the map, though. They pretty much have only one defensive ward, so they want to get some better vision before they try to make any aggressive move. So maybe we'll see them actually just smoke and get some wards down and try to play around. Or maybe they smoke into the Roche with this BKB, but it's first is an Elder Titan, so I, I, don't, I don't know. Roche is always a bit of a question mark to try to sneak it. Fanatic. Here we go. Let's see if they get away with it this time. Roshan, are they gonna go try to do it? Looks like they. Well, they they, they, they want to find. Place. I think they want to find Yapsor first. Yeah. The big thing, because you can't just let. I think you can't just like walk into the rush unless you kill like, in, like such an advantageous position. But the problem is now that there's a tinker on the enemy team, so the sh the lanes are always gonna be pushed in. So the information is there. They're like, yeah, they're smoked for sure. Fod is even pushing in top too, so they have all the information in the world from those lanes being pushed in. Unless they find Fada, this might not get anything into smoke. What do you spell what? the check in? <sighs> Quick blink upwards, and that will be enough to save Fada. They thought he went down, too. Fada's still kind of sticking around here for a moment. He does have Epicenter available. Could look for an Epi play. Yeah, he could look to just cut the creep wave and stuff, too. Like we, I mean, He's been positioned up here for quite a while. And look at this. Envy has pushed up a bit far here now. But there is no... Uh, Creep wave for the boots of travel for the Tinker. Fada though, trying to go in, he but there's a war on the high ground. Yeah, straight away. Cancelled. With the X. Shackles. Fada. We'll get taken down. We will die here. Slowly but surely. He's, you know, we saw Pi, and as we've known to see, Epicenters and Pylidae going hand in hand. He just couldn't help himself. It's a trigger, like, it's a trigger in his brain. I've got to press Epicenter, that's Pylidae. <laughs> but uh, indeed, it was, we saw him also pretty much ping out immediately oh, yeah. as he was hacked. He was like, okay. There, there's a water there. Definitely, yeah. yeah. The, he didn't really have the, the, the help coming in there, though. It so. was just him on his own. Because, like, the, the creep wave wasn't there yet for the no. Tinker to boot to travel in, too, so... I mean, he just really wanted to make an aggressive play. I mean, Fada's been... Fada's been really on point. He's been pretty much using the Epi every yeah. single time it's off cooldown, so he just wants to continue doing that. That's what that was. Attic, have to respond to bottom. And... Any other big pickups? Oh, Envy actually just gets glimpsed away from bottom. Puppy. Being very annoying. Yes, yeah, there's a couple of times he's sent MV over to the other half of the map. How rude. How rude, Poppy. He's in and he's out of there. Poppy putting some pressure onto that lane. 
the lead starts slowing down a little bit. You know, it was about the 5k. It's starting to close, sort of level up at least. It's not growing any greater to, for Secret's advantages. Fnatic, obviously, with the way that the game's going, your main focus really being Arbed is he's continuing to farm a retreat. He's got the BKB. Uh, queuing up the, the Shadow Blade, in fact, as his next pickup. So, what, maybe sort of hoping to. Pierce the back line. Pierce, yeah, get to the get back. To the tinker and yeah, stuff. get to yeah. the back. It's also like. It's one of those items that makes you really tough to kill as, as a. In, uh, as a Phantom Lancer, right? Because you, you already have Doppel to remove the dusts constantly, so they pretty much have to have like a jammer sentries down in order to catch you in those situations. But he's actually switched. He's going for hard. He just wants to tank. Oh, okay. Uh, Fnatic does that a lot. I think they're one of the teams that I actually see do that most. They they change they change the, the decisions of like how they how they feel with the pace of the game. Because like maybe if they were on like if they were like crushing team fights and they just got like three or four kills, then we'd see the shadow blade. But the fact that they maybe they feel like the pace slowing down, he's like, all right, we need a heart for me to actually be able to take the fights versus Secret. Yeah, there we go with the smoke. Dust will be popped. They know the universe is there. Fada actually jumping in, but he's both strikes in the midst of four. And standing storm will be brought down. Fada's pretty tanky. So the Gremlin guard able to walk it off. It will be universe the first to fall. Midborn, seeing if you can find some more out of this DJ inside the snowball for now. But of course, Midborn will blink in and finish him off with a quick burst. Secret with the smoke, able to find themselves two kills successfully. And Ace, whilst this all goes on, he will continue to to sit at the top of the net worth. They're hovering around the pit with him. With them taking down two heroes, they could certainly try for this. They don't they have the, the biggest of time to do so. Yeah, they killed pretty fast, though. Oh, the yes, yeah, solar crest with yeah. the bear in there. He doesn't actually have mana for the Mask of Madness on his bear, though. So it's a little bit slower than I thought it would be because of that. Well, like Come that on, mid one, bo bottle the bear. Come on, give That's the bear some bottle charges so you can mess out or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, Aegis will go their way. And Yapsor has been having, like, his positioning in the fights is really important. Like, if they can't actually, like, get on top of him to start the fights, it's really awkward for them to really surround and kill somebody, right? Because you see, like, it's like, oh my god, the threat of that stomp. If you get hit by, like, a multi-hero stomp, the team fight's just over. You're gonna get her splittered and you're all gonna get pretty much kaboomed by Secret's lineup. So it's going to be really important for them to pretty much keep tabs on where Yapsor is in the fights. It's either keep tabs on him or DJ has to like do this like counter -initi counter initiation play, right? It's like you see the oh, stomp and then you so. snowball as the splitter comes out. Because we used to see that interaction happen quite a lot between these two heroes when they were picked like every game. Uh, Yapsor having the, the Glimmer Kate just to make him a little more looser, as you say, when it comes to heroes trying to find him on the back lines. Yeah, now it's like... What, they need Abed to have like yeah. a dust in order to look for him and Abed did switch back to the uh he to the silver back. Edge. now he's gone back to the silver edge yeah. okay but just switching back and forth constantly i think because it feels the moment he, he sure heart would be be nice but it, it, he's never really been super low or Oops. getting in trouble i'll say that and he's got the double yep. should be oh no bkb where's the root he can't, yeah, close, he's can't catch up speedy. to him. yeah with the s and y that extra movement speed, I bet, is out of there. Yeah. But but the, 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 the extra sort of tankiness, he doesn't really need it at the moment. For the S and Y, seems like it's doing enough. Especially seeing he's got the BKB as well. Until the S and Y bottom lane, Pi. He's got the wards down. He is very dead. Goodbye, Pi. Those <laughs> <laughs> wards not quite hitting hard enough. No. I mean, he's got a Shiva's guard. He's he's had 24 <laughs> armor. He's pretty tanky right now. Back towards mid, DJ. They look for the Spirit Bear. They should be able to clean this one up pretty easily. Ace. Kind of stand there and watch his buddy die as he backs away. Shashua, is there any reason in particular you feel why I would go for the, the full Silverage? Uh, rather than just the Shadow Blade and then a bigger item potentially. Any reason why he sort of wants to upgrade it ASAP? Oh, not in particular, no. There's nothing, I mean... I guess slot efficiency is always the eight, nice. Break the ET it? or something, I don't know, right? Maybe. But there's not really any, like, big one. No. I think it's just he wants, like, stats and slot efficiency. I think mostly that's that's the case. Yeah. There's nothing, like, big Telltar. It's like Tidehunter or something. It's like ET. That's, like, the only real passive. He's still keeping up, though. And by keeping up, he has actually surpassed mid one in Network for the first time this game. Level 22 on the PL. Level 21 and 20. On Secret's other two cores, though. The bear Mid, getting DJ. controlled pretty quickly after one number four, but looks like the Glimmer Cape will be enough to buy time to get out of there, as well as the buff. 
Did the Crimson Guard not affect the bear? Interesting. Pi gets taken out from just some rockets in the base. The poor soul. And now they're gonna look to threaten a little bit again. Throw the Solar Crest onto the bear. Even glimmer it. Let's we'll see if they can do anything to stop this here fanatic. That bear is more than likely dead though. It's trapped inside the shards. Can they get the rest of the damage to kill it? They can, with DJ blinking in and that should push Secret away. They don't have bear for 30 seconds. Looking to catch the shards. Don't quite get ace. Mid one, in fact, popped the BKB there. I think Dave? close. It. Yeah, he's... Oh. Alright. He was... Uh, I didn't... Didn't look like anyone was there. I don't know if he got spooked by maybe a uh, PL illusion. I didn't actually see it. Oh, okay. I think... Oh, okay. Arbad had a bit of a brawl with him. Okay. So just just gotcha. got it off. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. But uh, neither of them going down. Both get themselves away. And Arbed now going back to so, so towards the Orchid and the Bloodthorn, so he is, or okay, or the Nullify. Either of those, one of those, so no, he's gonna have yeah, a chance to catch out the Tinker. So much. And they're switching items a lot. Yeah. Um, how many Dooms have we seen in this game? I f it feels like Universe had a hard, a hard time to have he's had a pretty tough one, right? I think it feels like both him and also Envy. Uh, like yeah. On the Viper, these two heroes, we haven't really felt the, the effect of them. It's the two just heroes that kind of have to just like the walk in, right? The walk, yeah. the dreaded walk into Secrets lineup is is pretty damn hard. You're playing like, versus like a lot of disables. You're playing versus marching machines. And you just feel like as this game goes on, what, what are you sort of hoping to do with the Viper? Like, as we see, it's useful against the bear. There's no doubt about these two heroes. They can kill that bear. But yeah. as it sort of comes down to, to sort of take the team fights against Secret, yeah, it feels just very hard with these heroes, you know, considering yeah. the fact that you're you are playing from behind at this stage to, to really get most done. I mean, that's why we were a bit, we were like kind of concerned, right? It's like how do they actually find this Tinker in the fights? They don't have a great way of getting vision in the engagements. They don't have like, like who, someone needs to just blink in and try to find him in the back. But who's it going to be? Like the Tusk? It, it is a bit tough when Secret has these heroes to, to protect him so well. Between the other Titan and the Sand King. There we go, the bear. See, once again, has to get out of there. And uh, Universe does, yeah, he's, he's got the blink, so. So does, am I noob? Does Crimson, Crimson Guard just not affect the bear? I guess not. Because I know it says allied heroes in buildings, but I know it usually counts as a hero unit, but that's twice now that he's been in the AoE and he's used it and has not hit the bear. So well, it does not work on bear then. No. I think they might have changed stuff because... Because um, it's allied heroes, I guess it just counts literally hero, I, not hero I, units. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Because otherwise you could do it with like Vestige and stuff, right? Or something like because that. Because the bear, so there's sort of other sp like spells, like that wasn't there with the bear. I mean, it yeah. used to sort of count heroes. Like, I know the like, like Wraith King's crit used to be really good against the bear, but yep. now it's not anymore. Because well, they changed it. They changed the skill. They changed the ability. Wraith King's crit, oh, isn't, it doesn't bear. even do that anymore. Yeah, but but, but it doesn't one-shot a bear. Because, because it's, it's, it's a hero unit. Oh yeah, what am I talking about? It's late here. You understand what we mean. I know, yeah. Everyone, I, everyone knows what we're talking about. You know what we're talking about. I mean, hopefully, because I don't. I'm trying to look, like, maybe someone knows what it is. Oh, so 38 minutes, 21 to 10, still this lead, but Harbed's still sitting at the top. Can Harbed carry the game here for Fnatic? He's done it many times before. And it's tough when versus this bear who has like the radiance and the Mjolnir it's, already built in. Yeah. Ace is pretty damn massive. So so is mid one. Yeah. And top lane to DJ has been found. Tries to go for the sharp play. And that sort of sharp play will be able to push him away to safety there. Yeah. Ace has been sending his bit. Ace. Eh, they did it a bit earlier, but he killed both. He killed the one at the bottom shrine. So he still have the top one. But he's got the agonim, so he could just send his bear to go look for that. Pi trying to just keep these sneaky wards up because they're playing versus this, uh, the, like a gem from earlier that Fata had had. So again, they're trying to do the similar wards that they did last time, but they're not able to find anything from Secret. And Secret, they, 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 they know something's up. Look at this. Pi? Pi? Uh oh. oh it's Fata! See ya. He got it! Puppy had just walked over and placed the ward, but yeah, they, they knew. They 100% knew that Pi was there. Now, the only vision that Fa Fnatic was able to get on the map gets taken away. And Rush will be spawning in about 40 seconds. All right, we'll find out how long he spawns in about 40 seconds, sorry. Secret 11k gold advantage. Some some, some experience advantage as well, but it's been it's been the secret show for quite a I while. Mean, it, quite a while now, for like it, 10 minutes or so. It really just feels like if you're Fnatic's lineup, what is sort of the scenario where you're able to come out on top of uh, trying to stop Secret from getting a push together? It's, it's like, so where is your huge lead in? I, I guess the moment is, as you say, if Universe can find a good Doom uh, onto a target at the start of the fight, there's potential. Sure, it's a big if. It is. And even then, 
do you really have the damage to instantly sort of take one of Secret's big cores out of the fight? It's, yeah. it's hard. They, there's some pretty well beefy heroes these between the Lone Druid and the yeah uh, SK, of course, with Fado's build. This. Yep. No, definitely, and it's it's like the the bear with the agonims is going to be pushing in the lanes constantly. Tinker is going to be botting and pushing in the lanes constantly. So, Fnatic, they're actually just like in this position where they're struggling to keep their lanes in a good spot for them to actually find these pickoffs, to find the situation for them to actually even get a doom target because they've been pretty much stuck on their side of the map for quite a while now. Let's see what they can get here, Fnatic. Heading over. Ags finished on Viper and the Nullifier on Arbid. So oh, he did go for the Ags. Okay, so Viper Strike DPS and Aghanims. Okay. But this has been scanned out. Secret scanning out the smoke rotation from Fnatic. They know what's up. They know where they are. Secret? They look like they kind of want to fight into this. And part has got the has got the epicenter in the level 20. Scouted. Yep, so sees them right away. Fada commits in forward. It's the Burrow Strike. Stomp as well onto Pi, and with the bear beaten down, it will be enough to bring down Pi Lai Dai. Fnatic turn towards the bear, and he pops the Viper Strike down, will bring down the bear to half health. They don't want to fight this 4v5 in this position, it's awkward. I mean, they might be forced to if Fada can find a connection as he's waiting in the trees. Look at the glimpse, MV being tracked back up. They're still, being still a little careful of how they go in now, they look to commit. Fada has the epicenter, goes straight in on Abit's top of Envy. It's not a lot of damage, though. Ah, in with BKB. Universe comes in, too. Can they turn this one, Fnatic? They're looking to go straight towards Ace. Roll four from DJ with the snowball. They're focusing down the Lone Druid. Can they finish him off? They can. They do. It's going to be Ace out of the fight. Fnatic. They get one of Secret's big cores. Can they get any more, though? DJ shards through onto Puppy. Fada turns towards Envy. Envy has the managed bear? to find the bear, and that's going to be the bear in trouble as well. More golden and glory. And mid one being chased by Abbott. Fnatic. And look at the high oh ground. Fada getting surrounded. He tried to burst right over the cliff, but he's going to mess it up. He's stuck down on the low ground. Fnatic, they've found three. They're going to be able to find four. As wow. Fada will finally fall as well. Fnatic getting in, and Arbed, I mean, he he gets in, and he really kicks off the fighting style. Just he, He's doing it on this PL. This PL actually becoming more of an issue than maybe we expected, maybe more than Secret expected in these team fights. Yeah, I mean, that was a 4v, that was a 4v5 engagement. They just, they as soon as the BKB pops by Arbed, though, he's immortal. He just runs into the lone and we're able to get him with the Blink Dagger follow-up from Doom. And that that is, was... That's how they do it. I mean, Very now the, the game is back to, to pretty even in that world. Look at that. That, it, that was easily... A, with those buybacks in play as well from both mid one and Fada, that was, a, that was like a 10k gold swing. It actually, at least at least, fight. at least a 10k gold swing. More, more than that. that. It's like a 13k. It's gone straight back to pretty much zero on that graph as the time will tick in. And it's like the... They were like... We, it, they felt awkward too. They were like, they didn't know if they really wanted to fight, but they're like, reverse is glimpse. We have to. And yeah, they were just able to take it during the BKB timing. Mid one ran out of mana, and yeah, they were able to close the gap on him and get that Doom on top of Ace. And this Roche down to 2k. Aegis and Cheese will go the way of Fnatic. Oh, they did see a bit of an attempt there. I'll try and interrupt it, but it wasn't quite successful. Indeed, they do succeed. Arbed, Aegis. That was huge. Fnatic having all. The tools ready to go. If they can go pull that off again, if they can kill off mid one once more, or even Fada during this yeah. this buyback cooldown. I feel like Ace needs an AC so badly. Okay, he has. He's getting closer to it, but you see how fast that bear dies from like the physical damage. Even I mean, he popped Mask of Madness, so it's, it gets put down to like eight armor or something like that, and it yeah. just gets killed so quickly from the side of Fnatic I, right now. I mean, we've sort of got him. But DJ's got the, the full out hex on Tusk. I mean, are they, what? They got yeah. I mean, that, that they was got rich. an unbelievable fight. So these fights, uh, uh, sort of, like, I feel like we were saying, what, what does Envy do? Well, well he, in that fight, tanks an epicenter, doesn't do anything to him, and then he just, the Viper Strike, the slows, the controlling the bear. It, as you said, maybe that was why it was picked, the, the fact that it allows them to make sure that they can kill off the bear, and it, it is working. Each and every time we are seeing Ace, despite the amount of fun that he does have on the Lone Druid, how it's, it's very hard for him to really get that much done on the bear. Yeah, I actually need to look at something really quick. Oh, what are we checking out? Uh, no, just looking, I wanted to see when, uh... Because the Aghanims on yeah. the Viper Assure, it's like, it's down to... It's a 10 second cooldown, it lasts for 5 seconds. That's... Uh, it's always been pretty crazy. But I, know, I remember being... A, a I remember being, being that crazy. It was, it was 12, always, right? And then it got... When did it get reduced into 10? Maybe I'm stupid. I could just be stupid. It, it was always very, very low. There's no doubt about it. I might it. just be silly. Control F Scepter. 
It doesn't. The control F isn't really working. Yeah, that was okay. This was a while ago. Okay, no, no, no comment. Well, how long six, ago was that? Six point eight eight. <laughs> that I'm six point eight eight. Twelve to ten seconds of agonims. <laughs> that was before I started. What was six point eight eight? Click on it. How many years no, ago man. was that? It was before seven. It was right before seven point zero, right? Oh, was it? It was one of the last ones before the big yeah, jump. Yeah, right before okay, the big jump. Okay, before the Boston. So it was only like. Okay, yeah, when was that? That's right Boston. It was Boston. Yeah, so it was like, it was like a year and a half ago. Boston. <laughs> the bear. Again. Gets grabbed. This bear has felt a lot of pain and suffering this game. I, I, uh, is it like the fifth time they've killed the bear? More. Maybe more. Definitely more. That's a lot of money. Yep. That that bear's given up. I mean, look up. Look at Abed. Full heart. Full BKB. It's massive. Absolutely massive. It's been sitting on that top net worth for quite a while now. I mean, that was a dream situation for Fnatic to come back in this game. 14 to 24 kill kill score and they still feel in a very comfortable spot now yeah that that mid lane fight without that well, one of the biggest swings we've seen yeah in uh, today and uh, in in a lot of i mean that to have that sort of a swing in a game that sort of was so sort of consistently going in secret's favor as well it was it's not like it had been an up and down game it was yeah. secret with an advantage slowly slowly keeping control taking more of the map away from fanatic then bam one fight like that just came out of nowhere yeah, I mean Abed has had like the perfect, the, the most flawless game. He's six zero three, yeah. Oh, yeah. top Dude. of net worth, just been an absolute machine on this PL, never getting caught out. And in they go, Fnatic ready to start things off. But it will try to return with the return play. They've got the Static Storm down onto Universe. Universe get the kill. will get taken by Secret as they will push back Fnatic. Can they get anything more though? They're starting to move out Secret. They want to try and keep this fight going. Hex is out onto Envy, but here's Abed, focusing straight away. On top of this Tinker, that's going to be mid one gone. Taken out. Arbet able to find the target he hoped to log on for, and he's even looking for more. Pushes in towards the base. Same time, the the creeps are doing it. They got to get back. They got to see the axe bear. Out. We've seen this from Secret time and time again when they're playing with Ace's Laundry. He actually even Universe Dooms the bear. I mean, that was the, 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 the resummon, right? The bear's still on cooldown. Ah, yeah, 20 more seconds. seconds. Yep. But they're still hitting the base. So they even are? though Universe went back, they've got the rest of the heroes in. I mean, mid one said for quite a while. 80 more seconds. For an attic. I mean, Arbed just finding himself. There we go. Eight bears. This Eight game. bears. That's a, a fair bit of money. And look, it's nicely split between the entire team. Everybody's killed a bear. You can have a bear, you have a bear. Everyone gets a bear. Pi's gotten two of them. Look at that. Maybe Fata. that's why they keep dropping ults on. Fada just dropped an Epi on him, but he got snowballed to survive during it. He was pretty tanky anyway. Now Fada gets turned on it. in mean, the back. Abed is fighting versus everybody. I'm just destroying them at this stage. This just seems to be nothing that Secret can do. Abed just. Look at and here's the bear! And the bear now again! He made that a knife! Peter! Kill the bear! Oh. And now, okay, they're like, oh, that's your force here too. And there's no sanking, no tinker still for 86 and 50 respectively. Fanatic. They've done it! I don't know this game yeah. over! I think that this might be game. The refresh, the refresh for Ace. In and, Fnatic. and he resummons the bear, but the bear is dead Again. almost instantly, and now Ace gets turned it's on. This and game over! I don't know what's happened in this game. Fnatic! I wow. mean, they. Okay. They absolutely did it. That, that fight around mid, and then from then on, just using that advantage perfectly. I mean, Arbet, as you said, he had an easy game. He I mean, he didn't die. He never got picked off once. The Arbet PL. Maybe they just, they got to the point where they've just, wow, they just tunnel vision for Pi, right? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I guess so, but. They never were. The Pi lie die strats, as it, yeah, just come, come at me and ignore PL. He kept being the one to like tank all the movements, and then, I mean, Abed was literally just farming and farming and farming. He got these, his item timings really good.